Dude, I, I, like like you said, you know you know how many people kill for a Klondike bar? It's not necessarily <laughs> no, me blasting up people, but more so of I would sell a fucking testicle to fucking have some Canadian chocolate again, dude. Would you sell one of your balls for an infinite supply of Klondike bars? Would you do that? Hell yeah! I don't need my dead kids anyways. Uh... They're probably already dead in there. I don't think you're making any more fucking... I, I would <laughs> sell one of my testicles if I can get Canadian candy again, dude. I don't... It just depends, but the one time I had Canadian candy, I... Oh, my God, dude. I, I, I mean, felt like I was... No, I felt like I was busting loads in my jeans. DJ, DJ. DJ Tomezilla. Party Flasher. Magmatic. Heart Mender. Herbie Hops. Yes, thank you! Yeah. <laughs> And uh, this was also the first time that I had met a lot of Canadian voice actors, and I got to try Canadian chocolate for the first time. Now, a couple of the voice actors, they had brought Canadian chocolate across the border, and oh my god, dude, I swear to god, it's better than the shit we make here in the States. I'm gonna open some Canadian chocolate from uh, Izzy. I wonder how this is like. Straight from Canada, Izzy brought this to the event and she had these on her table. Oh my god. This shit is better than what we got in the fucking states. Fuck the US. Canada has some good treats, man. And I wish I was kidding. Oh my god. But somehow, I don't know how, but this was one of the voice actors I had met during my time in Seattle. And one of these managed to slip onto my checked luggage. I don't know how it even got in there. I don't know where it even came from. But this was one of the ones that I had, I had tried. And oh my god, dude. It was so fucking good. I don't know when we'll meet again. But thank you for making my entire weekend.